It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Alright boss, yes you are witnessing life in New Hampshire where it snows in freaking May. Alright, so the first thing that we gotta do before we go grab those spacers. So this one, the rear is almost perfect. Maybe like a quarter inch spacer would make it like a little bit better. But the front, I know we can go a little bit more and straighten it out. So the front we can probably get... Oh, actually, we can probably just get the quarter inch ones, man. Because that looks pretty... I mean, it's one inch, but if you like look, like that would be hitting, you know what I mean? So. Either a quarter inch or a half inch would be perfect for the front, you know what I mean? Because I don't have the camber plates yet, so obviously once we get the camber plates we would be able to get a one inch thing, but for right now, without those camber plates, unless unless Walmart has camber plates, I'm, I'm obviously not going to get spacers at Walmart because you don't want to be buying cheap spacers. You know what, bro? I'm just going to wait until we can get the spacers and the camber plates together. That way I don't have to piss away 80 bucks on spacers and then get bigger ones in the future. You know what I mean? We are actually going to be going to surprise my mom. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. The time you're seeing this is probably either Mother's Day or the day after Mother's Day. But because it was snowing, this morning she thinks that we're going to be coming up tomorrow but we're going to go up there once i finish my gaming channel video and surprise her oh yeah boys long trip i actually uh i'm, I'm kind of hoping my niece is there because that projector um i want to give it to her i haven't given it to her yet we're gonna mark our miles down for them taxes boys not gonna lie boys I was not expecting it to still be snowing up in this area. I mean, the roads don't look bad at all, brother, but you gotta keep in mind, I got my summer tires on. So like even the smallest amount of slip is kinda gonna fucking screw me. So we most likely, my friends, will be going fairly slow. So we will not be getting to my mom's house for quite some freaking time. This is actually a really nice area. They have like a ton of hiking trails in this area and stuff. This would be a really awesome area to come to, to come and get like some car recordings and car pictures. Obviously right now it's pretty shit because it's snowing, but you know, when it, when it doesn't snow and it's actually summer like it's supposed to be, it's a, it's a really cool area to drive through in the summertime. The best time to drive through it is during the fall, like when all of the leaves and stuff are changing colors. But we're gonna be going up here by a snowboarding mountain pretty soon where I used to snowboard as a kid. Like the, my entire history, coming up and down this road, I've seen like one cop. And whatever, it's just a fun road. You know what I mean? Not only is the scenery really cool, but the, the way the turns are when you're going fast, like they're not too much. So you can just like fly through them and it still gives you that like, that feeling of just like throwing yourself through a corner at a lower speed, which I imagine anybody watching this video that's into cars knows exactly what I'm talking about, how it just it gives you that like adrenaline, it's more of an adrenaline rush, honestly. That right there is a snowboarding mountain that looks like it could be open. It actually is open, I see people on it. But... Yeah, I see people on it, bro. Cool. Alright, bros. My mom does not like being on camera, but it is gonna it is gonna surprise her because she thinks we're coming up tomorrow since the snow, which is blatantly obvious, you know what I mean? I actually want to try something a little bit different and pull my car up on the lawn. 
and see what it looks like on like on grass and see if it makes my car look any lower. These are all of the pictures that I ended up taking. This one is definitely my favorite. Keep in mind all of the pictures that you're seeing are unfiltered. So of course, once you up the saturation, the contrast, apply filters and all of that sort of stuff, the picture is going to look way, way better. This one came out. I actually, I got quite a few of them and I do want to give you guys some tips that I ended up learning doing this. So like I said, the, there's a couple of ones from the back that I really like as well. Um, but yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. So when you're taking car photos in when it's sunny out, never take a picture of the car like the sunny side. That's something that I noticed how all of these like photos from this angle where the shadow side is, it just turned out better. I know that the colors kind of don't like they don't fit together, but you can fix that in Photoshop, GIMP, like you're seeing. That's what I'm using right now, and I hope I didn't just stop the recording. But as you'll see, all of the pictures towards the sun just make the car look like crap. This one is kind of okay, just because it, it was a little bit shady out. That one's a little bit more okay. I like this one. That one's pretty good. We're going to be moving into the backside ones now. There is one that I really like. That one came out okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought I was about to close it. That one came out. This one. I really like that one. I'm pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. Actually, that one came out okay as well. Probably edit that. All right, so I just want to quickly show you guys what it looks like with a very simple filter just on Instagram. That's what it looks like over on Instagram after just applying one of the default, uh, you know, things that they have. When you take a picture, you can just click the little thing to post. These are pictures of me when I was a little guy. That's my dad. Mm -hmm. It's a big change, boys. You've seen him before. That's Grammy again, that's Uncle Mike. Mm -hmm. Bros, we got two surprises. We have our breakfast and we're gonna go surprise my Graham for Mother's Day as well. Hair, it is because I let my Graham cut my hair and we will get it fixed tomorrow. <laughs> when an old lady drives a JDM store, She's got to get used to being in videos, man, because this is my job, bro. I don't care. Everyone always asks me that. Is it okay if I adjust your C? I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? I don't understand why people have an issue with that whatsoever. Oh, yo, that guy's got the brake calipers I want. On the front of his wheels, I'll show you guys. This Subaru, go a little slow. See the green brake pads on the front? Oh, yeah. Those are the ones that I want. Once we wrap the car, I want to get uh, some wraps. Like, yeah, it's a nice Subaru WRX right there. Super gang. This summer, boys, we're going to come down this road and see where what speed we can hit. What do you guys think? I'm going to say... Bad idea. I'm going to say a buck 30. Oh, my God. what we'll be Are able to... Me? We'll be able to get That's up to. Let me know the number down in the comment section below. I'm gonna guess. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet 123. What? Just because. Just because 123. Are you kidding me? I really, really hope that it is not sandy down here. Because my mom lives in the middle of nowhere. I'm not sure if it'll do it because I don't, I haven't done the pedal dance. Dude, I mean that 
it turns off traction control enough. I didn't do the pedal dance there. I just, I, I don't, we're in the middle of nowhere where my mom lives, bro, and it's just like, I can't use my data to like YouTube it and figure out how to do it again. That was, we did it like just in time too, bro. <laughs> that guy would have been coming. See, I, actually, I think that's a good way to learn. What we just did, drifting, I think that that would be a really, really good way to learn. You do a donut, and then when you're coming out of it, anybody that knows how to drift, because I really do want to get better at it, it's just, it's only a monthly thing, and I have to pay $500 in order to actually go learn how to drift. So it's like, one time a month, it's going to take so long to learn how to do it, and that's why I like doing it out in the middle of nowhere, you know what I mean? I really think that that would be a good way. Not the donut, because anybody can do that. It's just fun. But like, as you're coming out, you know what I'm talking about? Like how you spin, and then, because how I, like how I, I let off my gas pedal there. I think that that would be a really good way to learn it. For a beginner, obviously, I, you know, you gotta keep in mind, this is my very first real wall, real wall drive car this is my first rear wheel drive car so yes I know I suck at it and I know I get super excited over little puny ass drifts around corner but you got to keep in mind that's because I'm very very new to it so as long as I don't crash my car I'm happy <laughs> If I can do a little drift without crashing, I'm good to go, brother. Don't you guys just love people like this? It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.